everyone and welcome to this new live stream today. Sorry, I'm a, a little bit late because I had some technical issues with um, my streaming software. Hi, Mia. Thank you so much for being here. I hope everyone is fine and um, I hope everyone um, has been good this week. Hi, Felipe. <laughs> I'm working a lot. That's good, I guess. I hope so. Is it good that you're working or do you think you um, work too much, maybe? Um, thank you, uh, Manuel, for the subscribe on YouTube. Um, I've been good. Uh, I took some time off a little bit um, because I um, worked a lot uh, recently. And also the mood during this... Um, season is a bit uh, difficult I think I always think that in winter it's really hard to um, stay positive uh, especially since um, I work from home even before doing CMCC I was um, a freelancer so I used to work uh, from home and it kind of gets um, first lonely but also you don't go out as much as when you have to go to work and as soon as the weather is like cloudy rainy or anything like that you just stay home so little by little you you kind of starting to you know um i don't know the word in english but kind of like mumbling by yourself um so um, the only reason right now, because of all uh, the events, COVID pandemics and everything like that, the only reason I go out is actually to go to the gym. And I get, yeah, depressed, yeah. It's not really depressed, it's just like you ranking all the time and, and you know, and you just want to be out and the weather is just not nice and it's cold and it's rainy and everything's wet and so the only reason I go out is uh, to go to the gym. That's my social moment of the day. And uh, right now, because it's so cold and so humid, it's not really cold, it's like really humid. Just don't go, don't want to go. So yeah, I, I really, really can't wait. But um, in a positive mood, uh, I started seeing some flowers everywhere. So. Uh, all my flowers in my garden are starting to coming out and some uh, trees also are starting to kind of um, blooming so fir first one i saw on my way to the therapist today i was like yay finally finally so this is this is good so true i just got another foot of snow overnight so now i'm stuck inside we are Snow is an another problem, I guess. Um, we far from it now. F snow, it sometimes happens in um, winter, early January in France, but not not later. And right now, we are more close to like fourteen degrees, so that's starting to be warmer. Improves our mood, yes, definitely. Uh, also, my mood is really um, uh, influenced by the gym and uh, all the workouts I do and in winter I don't want to go out so I just I do less workouts so definitely I have uh, lower morale but it get, it's getting better I think I think we we are kind of we, we reached the bottom and now we can just go up so I really hope and think that um, uh, everything will be, will be all right from now. Um, also, um, this um, I do resistance bands and yoga at home. Yeah, that's, that's really good, especially um, continuing to move whatever um, you're doing, whatever your schedule, because I know like some people with kids and everything, they don't have time to go to the gym, but I'm an um, advocate for healthy and active lifestyle. So I really think that we should move more like our generation. We are kind of becoming really sedentary and the Wally movie is starting to 
look less futuristic the more we go on. So definitely move. Move is really, really good. Uh, I move a lot. I like, I like to move if my knee allow me. Um, hi, Stephanie. Good evening. Um, right, so what's new? Um, I found out a few years ago that bullet journaling helps a lot during winter and I love going outside and playing with my teens and love the sun. Yeah, I, I'm supposed to cut my um, wisteria tree. I'm supposed to do this starting um, November. Um, I read that, um, you know, the organic stuff that goes into tree, you have to cut them before it goes uh, into the stem so when the spring come out then you have flower instead of having more uh, branch so i'm supposed to cut my wisteria from november i still haven't done it i think it's a bit too late right and i'm waiting for nice weather but i love wisteria trees too mine is quite small at the moment um it's actually kind of look like let me show you it kind of look like the one i made um so mine right now is kind of this size without the complicated trunk it could be like maybe one on one of them so it's like this this thick and this kind of uh this kind of leaves around it so it's kind of new i think it's like five or six years old but my father he's got like one like this in his house which is more like well, he's like uh, 50 years old i think uh so that's really pretty and it has like a entrance and and we support and um it like the whole uh, entrance of the house is just like all covered kind of like like this but uh, not with like this very um, metal and organic, but more with like support. So it makes like a huge pergola kind of. It's really, really beautiful. Hi, Max, this map city world. Thank you so much for being here. Welcome. I love using your trees. I think I almost have every set of yours. <laughs> Thank you so much. And hi, Miss Also Fabulous TV. Thank you so much for being here. I really enjoyed coming to your uh, strip channel last time. So I really recommend her uh, if you like uh, really nice um, um, building streams and with nice design. Um, MZ also Fabulous TV is a really, really fun channel. It's, uh, I stumbled it the other day and it was, I really like uh, watching people building, well, even if it's not in my city, I just like watching people building and finding, uh, I find it soothing and always gives me ID when I see uh, people struggling finding something and, and it gives me ideas. Um, hi Justissima, thank you so much for joining us. I adore your tree of life, thank you. I, I like it too. Uh, hey, see, I get, sorry, <coughs> sorry, sorry, I get a bit looking here for a bit, then switching over to Twitch, no problem, keep busy, take your time. Um, so yeah, it was from my uh, forever, yeah, this one is awesome. Actually, this is my wedding set I made last year, and uh, at first I was only want—I uh, really wa only wanted to do something for Valentine's Day, and because I'm not a fan of the commercial, um, all, all the commercial things about Saint Val uh, Valentine's Day, I wanted to do this um, tree of life, and at first it was supposed to be just just a tree, and the fact that you could put some some carving in it 
So that, that was my first ID and I thought this would be my Valentine's Day. And then I thought, oh, that's really beautiful. Maybe I do a swing to go with it. And then I was, oh, you know what? Maybe we could do an arch, a wedding arch in the tree. What was it? And, and then, and then, and then, and then it's the story of my life, starting a set and not, don't know how to stop. Oh, thank you, Maxis, Maxis, you were, thank you so much. It has been two months already. Here's to many more. Thank you for uh, using your, your prime to subscribe. That's super nice. And yeah, I can't, can't believe it's been two months um, already. I'm so excited for your next CC release on the wedding path, uh, pack. Yeah, wow. we come to that. Um, for now, I wanted to show you the, the one I just released for CSR. So it's like the finished one um, from the barbecue that we did last week. So if you were there uh, last week, you saw that we made um, this barbecue. Uh, it was a bit... Um, difficult because we had um, the stream star um, crashed because of Super Stranger as usual but we made it and now the barbecue is like really functional I also uh, added a few details as I said during the stream like I put some bolts in here and I I haven't av advertised on it but should have we made like a super cute uh, snow map with like bird footprints in it which is kind of super cute it's kind of like a easter egg something that you can um uh, question are the potted plants from tsa sets not posted i didn't see them all yet yes they are um it's it, it's in two sets uh, actually um so sometimes uh, maybe you you saw only one of them So you can see that it's like part one, part two, part one, and part two. So part one is, oh, part one, you have the potted plants. Oh, maybe you're not talking about them. Maybe you're talking about those one, because those one are from uh, something else, from uh, another set, something I made uh, earlier. Um, so I made this uh, picnic table and a bench and a double table with two and single uh, table with two. I made um, those counters actually. I have two of them. I made like one right and one left. And all those divider uh, that you can use either inside or outside uh, with the plants or you have the shelves or you have like the regular one. I kind of struggle with this and uh, it's not perfect because uh, the way it is it's really not comfortable because people can't really put their legs in there kind of can they. So I could um, move them rigs of the food so at least this uh, but they kind of like yeah going through it but you know it's fine uh, because if not it would have been um, really um, not that pretty to have like the wood going that much uh, because in real life I guess we probably don't sit that high I don't know uh, it looks good yeah don't don't look <laughs> it's it's minor. I th I, I really hesitated uh, releasing releasing it because of it, but I think that was okay. I think that's worth seeing even by ear. So it's fine. Uh, so this is new. I also made like one uh, other one that is secret. I'm not allowed to show you. Uh, that will be out on the first week I think at the end of first week maybe two weeks of March um, 
So it's a special collection. I can't talk about. I can't talk about anything. Uh, last time I did, I was called by the manager. So uh, it's a living room and a bathroom on a theme with other creator from TSR. That's uh, probably the only thing I can say. Hopefully, hopefully this is not too much. It works perfectly for me, and the legs part doesn't bother me much. Thank you, thank you. That's really good to know, actually, because um, sometimes um, I don't know if like if it's like air breaking or not, and sometimes I really uh, struggle on stuff that are not really that important. My bad thing was uh, the other segments. Ooh, um, I think you're talking about like for example this plant. Um, because uh, the the hotel set is something I already done. Uh, that's something released like during past years. Uh, but when I post on TSA, they have a very strict um, rules about the number of polycount, and those tr those plants are really high polycount. Those are actually bought and convert. I didn't make them. Those for for one. Um, and they're not like super high, but they're like uh, higher than uh, what TSA requires. So I did not include them, but you can get them in, on my website. So just go on my website and you can type um, hotel in here and you can get the set um, with the blend, if that's the one you want. Uh, hi, Sim Salabi. Um, I'm sure we're gonna like it. So, now, about the topic of the day. So I made, no, that's not the one. No, no, no. So I made a poll last week about what is going to be my new um, set. Windows, let me close some of them. Um, so, uh, because of the new pack, I decided to do something for the wedding. Uh, even before the new pack, I actually wanted to do something for the wedding for the Valentine's Day, so now it's too late. Um, because I really wanted to include some of the new items they will give us. So, I'm still waiting for the new set. I was supposed to um, come out on the 17, but because of the Russia polemic um, with the LG LGBTQ, they decided to uh, postpone the release. Uh, some rumor says it's also because it's so buggy that they can't really release it like, right now. Like some game changer that got the, the game uh, said that uh, it was uh, not playable. So I don't know what's the truth, but anyway, I'm happy because I can have more time. Um, the problem is, it is buggy, yeah, that's what I, that's what I, I read. Uh, the problem is it, I posted three themes that I really liked, three of them. Uh, maybe both, <laughs> maybe both. Um, we are not even sure why it was banned in the first place uh, in Russia because um, right now the game in Russia, like the base game is like um, uh, under 18. So we don't really know why it was a problem, um, even with the LGBTQ. So probably just a positive decision. Anyway, we, we don't have details actually of what happens. So we don't know if it's like a, a coup from EA to like advertise on trending subject or it was really i'm not i'm not believing like it, they were actually fighting for a uh, lgbtq right uh, it sounds too risky for ea money so i really believe it's all just a pr move anyway I posted three themes that I really like, so I knew because uh, obviously um, I was expecting that one of them would be chosen. So uh, all of them was uh, I really want them, uh, like them all three. But uh, my time is limited, and so is my um, 
not patience, but like my interests. So, you know, we had to pick one. So I made you choose, and you choose with a huge majority, like 340 people uh, voted for the boho wedding. Although the people that uh, commented were really right about the fact that we already have a lot of boho stuff, that that much of Bridgerton, Bridgerton would be kind of shabby chic, Victorian stuff with pastel colors and beach wedding, um, beach wedding, I don't know what it was, maybe just something uh, for the, uh, you can do all in the future, yes, but when we, when I will want to do another wedding, probably uh, next year, maybe something else will be up. Maybe I don't know. Maybe we will have a new movie that will be uh, coming out, and and other topic will be trending. We know, Anna. I keep, uh, uh, I still keep them um, in my file, so we'll see. But I also um, hear you, so I really try. Although I don't know all the CC that exists, but I'm trying to do something um, that we haven't seen, even if we did see some boho stuff a lot, because obviously it's trending, I'm, I'm going to aim for something that is um, unseen. Uh, I voted for the second one, because you also said it's somewhat like the bar style one. Yes, but... Um, I'm I'm changing a little bit my boho wedding set into something that it's more wickery, rattan and not uh, rustic. I really don't want to be rustic because uh, there's already some rustic stuff. I've seen many, so I don't want to be rustic. I think in this photo, what I like um, is like the chairs, the peacock chairs. I really liked. And I'm going to show you. Starting to think it was a real problem, but no, no, you can do. Uh, no, this is already red. Um, so yeah, I, I won't do both. I won't do three of them, but I'm going to mix a little bit, especially first and third one, uh, because of uh, the rattan weaker feel. So I'm going to show you my mood boards. Um, like all the, um, you can see I already started, <laughs> uh, I have already 18 items, but they are like just um, variation of the same window. So what I want to do, so um, first I made a list of things I wanted to do and it was like maybe 30 items, but now um, I'm starting to want to do even more than that and I don't want to do like the um, I'd love to see some more more pampas than greenery uh, we haven't seen the second one yet but <laughs> I love them all though the second one when do you mean you mean you mean the bridge of the one uh, with the Victorian furniture, furniture, it's it's more difficult for me, I think, because I'm not really um, at ease with that kind of um, design. But yeah, it would have been probably more challenging for me, uh, but more time. So um, I want to avoid uh, what I did. Um. Hi, are you doing a wedding set? Yes, I am uh, for the release of the new DLC that's coming probably uh, this week, next week, I don't know, we don't know. So yeah, I wanted to avoid what, what I did for the Catherine set, Catherine set, uh, my sushi restaurant, because um, I made a really huge one, there were 50 items in it, took me um, a few weeks, and because of that, I released it, I released it uh, with, um, uh, one month early access instead of three weeks and I was banned on Tumblr like people were really mad because I postponed the release of one week and um, so I really want to vote that uh, not postponing because I didn't mind I think it was worth it but the fact that people like were mad so I'm thinking of doing this set uh, two parts 
Yeah, really. So I'm doing. Uh, I'm thinking doing this set in two parts. So you will have like um, a first part at the end of the week and second part at the end of the other week. So more item uh, um, in two different parts. Uh, the best set colors and Victor star are one, but whichever is easy for you and the box time be star put together, you said yes. Um, so I'm going to show you where I'm at because I started building in uh, for once. I think the first time I, I did it changing lots. So for now, um, I'm building in the Enfold and Begley. But uh, with the release of the new set, I probably move uh, from the new the new world because um, some EA game changers that tried the game said that it was their favorite world, uh, Mr. Orkan, that uh, usually come here, and that the lighting was amazing. So I'm probably going to move uh, the lot from there. Random question, your favorite TV show right now? Asking because it's huge now about it. That's a tough question because is it like right now, is like, uh, what is the best one I've seen lately? Or like, what is my best TV show at all? It's, uh, I think the latest one I really liked uh, is The Expense. Um, it's from it's on Amazon, I think. I really like science fiction. I really like Battlestar Galactica, and I think that's the first one that kind of stand out and don't look cheap. And the story is interesting, and I really like the castings and all the characters. So yeah, my response would be the expense. A building live stream would be fun. Yeah, I'm thinking about doing this a lot and then I don't feel like it because I'm really shy and not a social person so I think um, I'm shy about it. I'm thinking about it. May maybe we should do that. Maybe um, when I finish this set I can make like a live stream where I will be building a wedding lot and put it um, to the low with the, the tree files. I love these words and you said you created for it. Thank you, Christine. So here's what I made so far. Basically, um, some um, palm wrapped on roofing. So it's like skylight. Um, I made them is like in two direction. So we can make like arrow pattern. And you have it in like three tiles, two tiles, and one tile. So whatever the shape um, of your building, you can completely replace the, the top of it. And then I made the windows. And here, same, you have like several versions. You have, uh, so the basic window comes in four times. So you have closed, half closed, or open. And I also made one tile in case you have like some, um, hmm, I don't know how to say that word, like in case you have where, ampere? Odd. Odd number, that's, that's the expression I was in. So in case you have odd number of, um, of walls, of ties in your building. Um, and uh, as usual, it's available in all three heights, so short, medium, and tall. That's, that's all for now. Um, I just saw a tweet by The Sims and they said that we release the new pack tomorrow and that we thought to address the issue if they got to fix it in time, that it should be interesting. Yeah. Well, for me, it's okay because uh, for me, I just want the, um, the new items and, and the build lot. Uh, I don't want, I'm, I'm not interested in to, into playing it right now. So if they release it tomorrow, then, then I can start planning on what I'm going to do with uh, what is new. 
um, because uh, so as you can see I kind of um, stayed away from the barn look and I'm more looking into a romantic boho style so I'm more aiming something that will look more like something like this with the peacock chair, some right hand stuff, dry flowers and that's why I said it would be a bit of mix with the beach. It's not really a beach wedding but I really like to include some bamboo right hand stuff. Um, so yeah that that's a bit too much. I really love the trees. That's not something I'm able to do but that would be too much high poly to do anyway. So yeah, I, I'm thinking about something more romantic like that. Um, so I intend to do this peacock chair, but I might have to simplify this because it will take two more polygon to get it. So I, I'm I was thinking of maybe mixing with something more simpler than that. Uh, these are so cool. Yes. Okay. Um, <coughs> Sorry. Um, what well there? So yeah, then I want to do some uh, table. So for the tables, um, I want to do something round and also so because I like having like the mix between like the the long table you can do uh, with like um, stacking doubles uh, close to each other. Um, thank you for the follow, uh, Kennedy. <laughs> what a weird nickname and welcome in you could also make maybe a stool kind of version of that if you just do the bottom part of the chair without the actual chair yeah definitely um so yes i obviously do an arch um haven't decided yet how it would be um i took this but i'm um afraid that those kind of leaves won't look that good uh, in the sims you know how the transparency is kind of approximative in the sims so um, i was more thinking maybe something like where is it probably something more like that like a frame with like a from flowers on the edge or maybe something like that um like a, a rattan heart shaped stuff some i don't know i don't know yet um you could also maybe no i read i read that already um i like the heart arch yeah so i wanted to do some um heart shape uh, windows too uh, for the for the building um so that's why I put a lot of heart shape, maybe a fence. Um, yeah, and then I want to create um, like an area to put all the buffet. So I ha I never made um, I never made some buffet before um, because I I think it's from a, a a pack that I don't have. I think it's like the Glam glamorous uh, one so I don't know how they work but I will definitely clean one especially if it's like uh, only requires this this uh, game so I want to make like um, an area for like putting the cake and obviously I'm, I will make a cake uh, hi I hope you are what are well today hi peregrination welcome in I hope you are uh, well too Um, I think Rava made a base game buffet, really. I check it. I, um, I'm going to have a look about that. Um, so what I've, I've written. So I want for the, for the chair, like for the ceremony, I wanted to do some folded I think I like those ones some folded chair uh, with like some fabric 
So uh, I will make like one version uh, simple like this and another version with like sophisticated drapes uh, on the back. So you can use them like kind of for that kind of setting. And then I have shelves, carts. Uh, I also want to include a photo booth, um, kind of inspired by this image. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Damn it, I have too many. Too many, too many. them one by one yeah this something where you can take pictures because I know some people really like to use poses and and make like screenshot for the tumblr so I thought like a place that um, we have during wedding uh, to do like photo booth could be really nice I think um, let me log into my account on her website real quick. Thank you. She's made something I have it, but I don't know if it's base game. I'm not sure it's base game because sometimes um, uh, having something base game doesn't mean it's functional if you don't have the pack. Maybe it's just decor if you d if you do. So something like for the for the booth and so a cake. I was thinking about um, like a very simple cake like that. This one. So basically it's like just a white cake and then, so this is Sue, Sion, Sion. Uh, but I want it to look as if it was like a uh, dry flower, dried flowers um, paste on it, uh, something that would be kind of spring feel. Um, hi, dear. Um, Sorry again. <coughs> <coughs> then um, I want to make some huge decor um, dry bouquet. So uh, same that as I said before, I'm not sure about how the game will handle the um, transparency. So kind of like like this, you see on the first uh, on the foreground, like huge um, arrangement that you can place somewhere. So. Um, I'm not really convinced by the transparency when t details are too tiny, so I will have to study how to make them look good. Kind of like this as well. Um, so tableware, I always like to include like something like this, like a kind of cute setting. And um, sailing lights with garlands. So I wanted to do maybe something like this, so we can put um, in the garden. I also want to try to make something a bit modular, so we can place them kind of where we want. I really like very lights. And screen divider. I think it's always good when we do a, a garden um, wedding that we can actually separate some some spaces. You know where you dance where or even put some backgrounds uh, behind the tables. The pampa grass in the flower entrance is pretty. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. But I'm still not sure how I will be able to render it good in the game. Um, um, I might also include a bar, so it won't be like a, a classic bar, but kind of maybe something like this when, when the guests can actually um, prepare their sem their s themselves drink. And I also really like that one. Where is it? It was like image with some uh, glass. Yeah, that one. I think it's cute. So maybe those. Um, maybe we can also use them with the tree of the tree of love that would be super pretty and then uh, when i looked for um weaker item i found this which is gorgeous so i thought maybe if i'm not too tired of it afterwards i might do a um, honeymoon uh, set and then i found uh, like this sofa which is also gorgeous um, I'm counting obviously too many polygons, but I don't know. 
uh, whether I'm still doing it, and I will go above my uh, usual limit. Uh, hi, Broco Dude, welcome in. Uh, I'm gonna love this collection, I already know. <laughs> I think Boho is really, really trendy right now, so I, I hope everyone will like it. Um, I know a few people that are not really fan of Rattan, um, but I do. I really like the vintage feel and romantic. I think it fits very well the wedding uh, theme. Um, so that's not for that's not for this set. That's for next one. If I'm not too tired uh, of uh, working, um, of working rattan at objects because I started my pickup share and it's really long and difficult and I'm already really high. So that will be hard. So I'll probably do it anyway because I really like it. I'll probably uh, give the details of all the polygons so people can choose. Hello there, literally just joining random streams and wishing then a great time. So I hope you have an amazing stream. Don't forget to drink some water too. Thank you, Fluff Daddy. <laughs> so you have really nice words. Um, right, so this is where I'm at right now. Uh, and today um, I wanted to make something simple because uh, I need some sleep and last time was a bit too long so I'm really trying to choose simpler item and stop and stop tr like engaging myself into making something too complicated for streams um, especially since I really want to cover all the steps so then it's easier for you when you are trying to do something similar to what I did to have like the whole process of it. So cloning the item, setting up Sim for Studio and making it in Blender and also uh, the texture. I also trying um, recently to focus for each item on a theme, um, like something that you can uh, really learn. So not just uh, me making an object, but me using a technique that can really improve your item. So today, we will be doing um, this, this one. So I think I make um, a montage with, I think I, I prefer this shape with these palm leaves. And what I'm going to teach you is how we are going to make this leaf in high poly. And then we are going to pack the normal into a plane. So the result will be like super low poly while looking really um, detailed. Um, so I'm going to drink first because I was advised to. And then we're going to start. So. Uh, So I'm thinking we are going to mesh this one, which is super easy. You, I will show you uh, how you can use like a background image. Uh, low poly item with high quality, exactly. Um, and we are going to apply a wicker texture, so that's easy. But here we are going to actually mesh this leaf and then we are going to bake it into um, a rather plain or, or just like a a, a not that thick um, leaf. So um, I'm going to clone a decor item. And if you watched um, two weeks ago, I showed you how to create with TSR Workshop some um, custom package uh, with custom mesh cuts. Um, so I'm going to use that, but before I'm going to uh, make a very quick pause so I can kiss my boyfriend goodnight. I'll be back in two minutes.
and I'm back. So, uh, <clears throat> as I was saying, uh, I'm going to clone one of my previous item <coughs> because it's an item where I have uh, removed the drop shadow, so, so we don't we only have like one item, which makes the proce uh, the process easier because we don't have to make like. Um, a load one then a shadow load because it only has one mesh the main mesh will have a zero mesh cut so we can use it both for uh, load and shadow so that makes the process a little easier so um i'm going to use that one and i'm going to call it Wicker vase palm leaf. There we go. So, um, for now, I'm going to leave it that way. But we are going to change some settings, especially since this is supposed to be placed on um, this is supposed to be placed on the surface. Uh, I'm not sure if my vase will be that big. Um, maybe I should keep it as to be able to be placed on the surface because you can maybe still uh, make it smaller and place it or no. Maybe it's easier when it doesn't get slot. So I think for now we're going to put some zero, which means we can only put it on the floor. Um, so as you can see in the meshes, we have only one mesh cut, so that will be easier because then um, the height load zero and high shadow load will be the same, and lo load zero uh, load one medium and shadow load medium will be the same. So that's one step less. Still good to take. So I'm going to open Blender in here and I'm going to import my picture. That's that one. All right. So I'm going to resize it because right now, um, as a reminder, one tile in Blender is one tile in game. So right now it's like huge and we don't want it that huge. Uh, we can still resize it later, by the way. So it's, doesn't, it's not really important if it's not exactly the size we want at the end. Um, actually, I'm going to uh, first shape the face uh, because I don't want that face, I want that one. And then we are going to move uh, on that one. I'm wondering if I actually prefer that one. I might prefer that one. Hi, uh, Eric Bogelo. Thank you for joining us. What do you think, guys? Do you prefer that one or that one? Um, I'm not sure. Quiero pedir algo. You can ask anything, any question, but you have to um, ask in English. Please, left, left, or right, let's go for the left then. I think I, I prefer the left too. Um, that's really, really easy. Basically, we are going to create a cylinder, um, not too high. So maybe 16. And we just follow the profile of our item. So basically that will start here. Then I go in edit mode. I am um, going to put the screen cap key here so you can see the shortcuts I'm using. And then one half, one here. And one up here. So here I want it to look smoother, especially that one. That's not enough. Or 
Okay. So I'm using some Vivo to create some um, roundness. And this one as well. Okay. Then on top, I'm going to create this one and here. I don't want to go um, too far because it will take too much space on my uh, UV map and we won't see it anyway. So I kind of create some dark, darkened bottom. That's fine for me. Um, we just have to make this more round. So maybe add a ring in here, pull it up. Um, don't forget to add an edge face modifier for later. Because remember that this is not how it's going to look. This is how it would be. So then I can maybe make this smoother and we're done for the weaker, the weaker one. Maybe the bottom can be uh, probably prettier like this. So that's for the face. That's easy peasy. That's super fast. And that's going to be in the middle. So now I'm going to hide this so I can adjust the size of it. So as a reminder, three tiles is the short wall. So let's imagine this um, in a short wall uh, room how tall we want it to be. So I imagine it to be as tall as a seam. And a seam is usually like kind of uh, in real life, if we say like medium seams would be like 175 centimeters, should be around that size. So just a little bigger. So we can have um, the palm going that way. Now I'm going to move the image to fit my um, my weaker my weaker face. So I'm just moving it around and up approximately. It's, it doesn't matter if it's not exactly um, a line. like that and probably more high so that's going to be face as tall as a seam yeah kind of I think so I think the face is a bit too big that way. that's quite tall yeah well, I do have one in my bathroom like this like the the face itself is like um, maybe to my hips and then there's uh, some really tall branches and the branches like maybe go like from here and, and 170 so that would maybe put it like one, 160 tall. We can still change it anyway, uh, the sizing. Um, so I'm going to save. Hello, Miss Disnuts. Welcome here. So you mean including the feathers coming out of it? I, I thought only the face would be that well tall. No, no, no. That would be really, really tall. How, how would you be able to actually put the palm in it? Um, base. Yeah. Right, so... Um, I'm going to try, I'm not sure about uh, how we go with it. So this is experimenting. I've never done something like that. So let's try, let's try something. I would uh, first create a cylinder and um, because we have a lot of details and right now polygons doesn't matter. We can use as, as many uh, polygon as we want because this will not be our final item. This will only be used to um, um, 
make the, the normal map so I can go really high. Really, really high. Like this. Right? And this is way too thick, so probably more like this one now. Um, I can still do it, um, make it thinner later. And we actually want all the, um, the line in it, so I'm going to remove the faces. Um, are you using Immersion Blender version? Yes, I am. It's the 2.76. And the reason is because since for studio I uh, only accept this version. So instead of having to convert everything I made into the new, I, I'd rather uh, mesh in the old one. Also because that's the version I actually learned when I started learning. So I'm I'm not feeling I'm not feeling um don't know the word for this and not um, I'm feeling comfortable with it um, anything new from the new version are uh, things making it easier but the basic everything is available here so I don't feel like I'm missing anything that much I think the only thing is like I can't use recent plugin that's that's my only uh, thing that annoys me but sometimes it's like oh that sh that looks really handy but you know it's only for the new blender so not for me. As long as it works for you purposes, I guess. Yes. I will have to move on one day. Um, and, and many people uh, told me it's worth it. But for now, for now, my workflow is uh, with that one. So I'm going to extrude, but leave it in place and use Alt M merge at center. And basically uh, every um, vertices that I have uh, duplicated will merge uh, in the center. I'm going to do it the same on the back. Alt M at center. Then this center with my, um, wait, this PeeWee. being cute as usual so um i'm back oh that picture looks nice are you making all those faces or just one just one for tonight um maybe maybe in my set i might make two but for tonight um just one so in my uh um white is it wireframe where uh wireframe view i'm going to select um do you remember how you got that little mass and last icon in the corner? Oh, you mean this? It's a plugin. It's called Screencast Keys. <coughs> you have to um, you have to look it for this uh, version of Blender, the two point seven six. But that's really handy when you're streaming, so people can see um, which shortcut you use. Uh, hello, Sip. Hello, everyone. Hi, Mr. Orkan. How are you? Yay, from Bits. Thank you so much, Mr. Orkan. You always so much cheering me up. Uh, we are making... Um, we are making this... Please hide. Yes. We are making this. So we made this face and now we are making this palm leaf. Um, uh, oh, thank you. I am the it for the uh, subscribe gift. Thank you so, so much. Uh, yes, I'm very well too. Thank you for asking. Um, I said at the beginning of my stream that um, the mood was a bit low because of winter and anything and everything that's happening. Uh, was happening also between Russia and Ukraine. It's kind of scary, but Spring was coming, so I was starting to feel more positive now. So, all good. Um, right, so. Go in wireframe mode. I'm going to use the C selection to select the middle of my, um, of my 
um, shape. Um, so this will go basically where all the lines uh, go through. And then I'm going to change to um, proportional LED connected and change the brush sh uh, shape uh, to sharp. And here I'm going to use the C selection again. And the reason of that is because I want to select both front and back. Uh, hey chef, making up. Eh oui, Julia, je me suis mis And go uh, up and adjusting the shape of my brush to uh, make it fit uh, as I want. Maybe something like this. All right. And then same with the top of it. This will be the top of it. Uh, no, I didn't select it, that one. Um, so you can first put it here and then move in back again to give it this kind of like heart shape. Like this and then like this. And here we have the bas basic shape of um, our leaf. So this, um, maybe I will use it later. So I'm going to duplicate it and call it save in case of. I'm actually going to move it in another layer so I, the polycon doesn't count. So I use M and I just, it, it's like in another layer. So now we want to create um, the sharp edges. So basically everything, everything except those will be sharp. So now I'm going to select one of the two um, edge in here. So that might take some time to select them all. This is so interesting, by the way. I was thinking of starting making some CC myself from basically 0.0 and new stream are super inspiring and helpful. That's kind of the point. So if you do that, I will be super happy because that's, that's my goal to uh, actually um, make CC accessible to everyone. Um, so I'm selecting one of the two and I also started from nothing. So really people shouldn't be afraid. It just takes a lot of work and patience, but that's not completely impossible. Um, there, I'm going to leave that one here and here so that's not the most interesting part of it but right after i've finishing selecting everything you will see the matching um, happening and why i'm doing this this two one two one two one, two, one, two, one, two. And I'm happy I didn't make any mistake because that's exactly where I wanted to be. So now I'm going to change my pivot point to in individual origin and I'm going to scale on Y, S, Y, and and also the activate the proportional LED, S, Y, and here the magic. We are starting to have some really interesting shape in here. Um, this leaf is so intimidating. I actually avoid it uh, in my sec like you're making it today. Yay. Uh, so now we have the um, volume we want, but it looks uh, probably a little bit too um, symmetric and not um, natural. 
So now we need to create some hazards. So I didn't um, put some um, lines in here because I didn't want to make stuff too complicated. But we can start by moving some pieces um, individually around, for example, to start by changing the overall shape. Uh, just in case you did not know, you can hold Alt and and on one of the edge and then go to select in the menu you can check out the select and select every other one sorry i didn't get that one hold alt, alt and which one Can you re-explain like this much? Um, I, I don't, I think when that is not a thing. Do you mean like shift um, shift G select similar? I'm not sure. I got what you mean. I will show you in private tomorrow. Okay, <laughs> that looks, uh, that sounds interesting actually. So always willing to uh, learn some new tips. So sometimes you can also change the shape of your um, proportional editing brush. So it doesn't look um, all too pointy. And also the size of it. There we go. So it looks a little bit better. Now the problem is like the space between each of them is um, always the same. So I'm going to try this. I'm not sure it will work, but I'm going to select this one and use my loop to um, options that is um, space. Uh, no, so maybe, uh, no, not that one. Relax, no, G stretch, nope. Okay, maybe the space then. Okay, I'm not really convinced about this. Yep, not convinced. Right, so um, maybe that's something we can do manually then. Um, so basically, I'm just going to move around a little bit um, each strand. So some, some of them looks closer, some of them looks bigger. So at the end, um, you can see like this for example at the end it's not like all even because this looks more like origami than um, actual uh, leaf um, so if you do this um, in wireframe you can select both uh, front and back so that will be more pretty So it's basically C to select and move, C select and move. And now this is going to take a bit of time. So it's the right time to drink, to stretch, to ask questions, 
to check where Peewee is. Peewee. There she is. Come. Let's go. Yes. There she is. Hi, Peewee. She's still got her allergy issues here. Poor thing. Cute fluffer. She's so fluffy. Staying. You, you you don't see them her her she is over there how was your day baby So, Mr. Orkon, can you tell us um, what kind of new item with new interaction we can interaction interaction we can expect from the new sets? Like, for example, um, I think there are some buffet. I know there were some buffet in the. Uh, I think it's like the the glamour. Okay, she's good. I'm moving too much. Uh, in the glamour in glamour uh, the DLC pack. Um, I still don't know what I'm going to uh, include in my set that is related to like the new sets. There's a tea set that works. Really? Meaning like um, like you have a, well I guess a tea set and you can uh, invite people and drink with them. So question, how do you decide the number of sides when creating a cylinder? Uh, that's a really good question, Sims Salabim, and basically it really depends on what you're doing and how big it is. So, uh, as you can guess, the more um, the more number of sides you have, the more high body your item will be, uh, but also the more smooth it will look like. So after a while, you kind of um, anticipate about uh, comparing to um, what you plan to do and how much polygon you want to put into it. So for example, when I make my face, um, so usually I aim for like 2000 um, polygon maximum for per time with my items. Uh, that's my medium. So sometimes I go a little bit above, uh, except if it's for TSR, then uh, it's if it's for TSR, then it's my limit limit. And uh, because I knew that this will be uh, much lower, uh, I could use um, this one is like 600, I think. So depending of. Um, oh, how did you do it in Blender? Well, it's quite easy. You just uh, shift A and select cylinder and here on the side you have vertices uh, and you can change it so this is the really high because i'm making the leaf but usually i will go more go around 12 because remember that um, in the game it will look smoother so even if you have lower it will actually look smooth you you won't have those edges at the end of the day um, yeah, they actually made a working tea, but it only took them like <laughs> the Sims 4. Okay, so that's something I have to add to my set, although it doesn't really fit. Hmm. 
doesn't really fit the wedding theme so maybe i won't include it on that one maybe that's something i could do for later maybe i could do a bridgerton set that is not wedding with um, a tea set in it maybe maybe that's an idea have you all watched a uh, bridgerton tv show and if so did you like it um I liked it, I think. Um, I was expecting something really uh, cheesy. Uh, I'm not a big fan uh, of uh, like Pride and Prejudice stuff. I find it really unrealistic and childish and kind of stereotypes and stuff like that. Although I do understand why um, everyone lo like it. Um, <laughs> hello, everyone. Um, so I was expecting something, uh, I have to Google it, I don't want much TV. Um, is it, I think it's uh, on Netflix, I think it's from Netflix. So it's basically during the Empire era and it's, it's not realistic, you know, it's the, um, they are really inclusive, there are some black people and everything, uh, whereas at this um, era they were not black people and the, the styling I think is really interesting, the colors and everything they use is like really cheerful and, and colorful. So yeah, I was expecting something more more childish and more cheesy and I found it really refreshing actually. Um, I'm on the wedding list at my library to get the first book. Oh, I haven't read the book. I didn't know there were books, so I guess I'm not surprised. Should work that as well. I think it's really uh, dis distracting, entertaining. It's not like it's not like the TV show of the year, but I think it's really safe. Thank you. I'm saving. Thank you, Mr. Author. Um, I find it really. Uh, I don't know like it all right so now we have something more organic um, it's less uh, regular so it definitely look a bit more like um, our image I'm going to move the image so we can actually see the image yeah yeah like this yes um, so that's not bad uh, last thing I could do is like don't make it that straight so maybe selecting the top of it with um, connected proportional editing and go curving it a little bit like that. Not too much because we have only one straight line so we don't have a lot of space to move um, so just a little bit, so it just don't look too, too, too stiff. Um, the writing is witty, yeah. I can't wait for season two to come out. I think it's soon, it should be soon. Uh, I saw that late inspirational, started beginning watching season one again. It sounds at least, yes, exactly, I do agree. Fun fact, there was actually a black queen Charlotte, really? in which which country and and which era which which year I didn't know that what a mood board a mood board is like um kind of like I where I sent um this is a mood board, for example, it's like a, a montage with all the inspiration pictures um, I have for a set 
So when I do uh, when you do mood board, for example, from uh, for like from interior, you can put all the inspiration you have. Um, so when I made the the pool for uh, my Patreon, uh, this is a mood board. It kind of give the mood of the set. So when I started the streams, I showed all the references images I was going to use for this set. So basically it's like a love of rattan, wood, romantic, boho item. Um, tu parlais de quoi? Quoi Zana? De quoi tu parles? De qui? De quoi? De où? Uh, in Britain, she was married to the English King George III. Really? Damn! Why, why don't we know about this? Okay, history. Ooh. History time. That's crazy. Why, why don't we talk about her more? She looks pretty. Must be awful to try to style the hair as the fashion uh, as before. They they painted quite. They painted her quite uh, white, <laughs> as usual. Okay, let's find the Wikipedia page. So that's the French one. Let me change it. Uh, where do I change it? English. So, Queen of Great Britain and Ireland as the wife of King George III from the we wedding marriage on 1761. Electress of Hanover, Queen of Hanover was born into the royal family at in northern Germany. So she's German. Oh yeah, she's the Duchess of Germany. Why is it... Why is she white? Are we talking about the same one? Didn't one of the queen also have an adopted daughter who was black? Are we talking about the same one? Yes, we are. It's the same date. Why is she white? <laughs> why? Why? The painting is not black. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> There's nothing about her being black. Ancestry, modern time, there was an, a rise in a popular debate that Queen may have secretly been a significant black or sub Saharan ancestry. Ah, oh yeah, so I guess she was like. not that black. This claim first originated from Jamaican American. Blah, blah, blah. No, she concluded that she must have had a nickel stain based on broad nostrils and heavy lips. Yeah. So I guess they're not really sure. All the portraits look so different. How can we actually say? I don't care. I like the. I think I like the concept of having a black queen. So, I think she will stay my black queen. Uh, Making boys a German like state. We're not exactly but kind. Yeah, it's like a. She's black and Asian. Well, we can all always debate. You know, um, there's so many uh, color of skin. She definitely didn't look black. But I guess uh, 
at um, at this uh, time it was even worse than our old time we probably kind of make people wider than they are they were especially uh, if she was actually um, like dark skin they probably uh, hide it but I like the idea that she was black so in my head she's black now yeah they don't look black at all anyway um, end of history time. Where was I? Uh, yes, this. So uh, here I'm going to create the stem. So I'm just going to take those and extrude. with uh, disabling the proportional editing and make it bigger, uh, smaller, sorry and rounder smaller, yes rounder so for this I'm going to move this, no that one, yes SY like this no Yes. No. Medium point. So if you have um individual origin tag on you can't really scale from because they will like scale their themes who was the first black queen um so we said it was oh i've lost the name it's, it was um queen charlotte of Gainsborough. i think she's from uh she's born in 1744 you can look for her on on wikipedia she was the, the wife of the king, uh, George III. And apparently it was not um, completely uh, sure that she was black. There were some rumors about it and some people drew um, like a tree, a tree heritage, like a, I don't know the word. <laughs> Uh, heraldry, genealogy, genealogy probably, and some people say that she had sub-Saharan or African descent, but they were not sure. And when you look at like the paintings, um, she definitely don't look black, but we can guess that even if she did, they probably didn't draw as such, uh, both for because the fashion was uh, for the white skins also the makeups so I guess we will never be really sure what was the truth but I like the idea that she was so in my mind now she is there we go um, so here I'm just going to create my branch Faces. I put a Dewey. No, no. She's not allowed to scratch. I'm supposed to put her the, like the V, the, um, like, like shade stuff around her neck, but she hates it and she kind of fall all the time with it. So I don't have the heart of like giving her it to her.
أكون يس أكون Um, I would hate that too if I were a cat. Me too. I actually had that um, when I was um, a kid because I was um, biting, biting my, my nails. So they kind of put me some gloves. I hate it. And they tried to put some tapes. And There we go. So now we're just going to um, like rotate it a little so it actually feels like it's upon the face. And we are done. So you can see that our item is uh, actually not that high. <laughs> it's not that high polygon. So even if I try to do something high, it's not high. It's not high. 600 is not high. So I could have like make much, much more detail, but um, that's fine because it's um, it's a good it's a good way to learn. So I actually we are going to do both, meaning that this, this will be the um, I'm going to keep this as the uh, high load, uh, but I am still going to bake it so I can show you and then I will decide if I actually like it better like, more, like that or, or not. So we're still going to bake the, the high one. Uh, looking so nice already, thank you. I was going to say keep it, yeah. But I still want to show you uh, how to bake it because that's kind of the point, but I'm going to keep it, definitely. It's kind of the point um, of this stream. All right, so I'm going to Them both. I'm going to save and I'm going to unwrap. So here um, I'm going to put some opposite seams in here. Maybe here and this one and this one. Like seams. So the reason why I put two um no actually i will put only one and so i we don't see it that much i'm going to put it like hidden in here okay and for the leaves i'm going to cut the steam in here in here and the leaves will be cut into like this maybe a little bit more like this maxims so basically i'm going to apply rotation and scale um basically we unwrap and we have the face and the two leaves back and um, front and I'm going to use the snap to axis to straighten this and I'm going to make it big because this is like the most important part of our mesh and I'm going to replace this better also not that if we really wanted to save some space I could have made only one in the front and copy it after making the texture on the back but here because we have this taking half the space we actually have space to make uh, front and bottom and sometimes inter it's interesting to have a different lighting
she's just taking her time to like, do I want to stay? Let me. This, uh, it's like the bottom of it, so it's it's fine if we if it's smaller because we will probably never see it. And the top also is doesn't have a lot of detail, so like this, it's fine. All right, so we are going to save this, and I'm going to export it in OBG. That will be selection only and don't write material. And I'm going to call it high so I can make the difference for later. Now I'm going to create the low version. So basically, I'm going to remove um, maybe three. I don't know. Ah, she changes her mind. Oh, baby. Is that it? And she's out. <laughs> um, okay, let's try one over two for now. So basically, I'm going to uh, do relief of it. Um, hi, Angrivy. Thank you for the follow and welcome. So I'm going to select. This is where I uh, would be super interesting by why you try to say maxis maxis were because it looked like it could do this pro but this process much uh, easier. Um, so I'm just going to select them one over two manually. Yeah, it would save you so much time. <laughs> ah, damn it. Okay, we'll talk about this tomorrow. Uh, I think uh, they were saying if you select all ages and go over the button when it says select, there's an option called che checker deselect, right? Yes. So if I, let's say I select all of this, this, no, this, then all of it. What is STRG? Is it shift? Control. Alt control. And then select all. And then mesh. No, this is not what I want. Um, okay, let's try to hide everything. And then this and this. I think you can also do select similar length. No, because they don't have similar length. So, add, control, right, select. And 
select, check at the select, that looks fine to me, except it's the opposite I wanted. Uh, but that's fine to me. Okay, edge loop. Let's try this. Oh no. Nope. Let's try it again. Um, control Alt. Nope. Damn it. Basically, you select the edge you want to keep, and when you do the checker, you select it will map all those you want to get rid of. Yeah, that would have been super useful when we did um, when we did the first the first one when I wanted to like make smaller only something on the edge. Um, but now I need like all of those, like all the edges, not only this. So um, I don't know how to select those. First, I'm going to select this and hide it. It works the same. Okay. Mesh. What am I doing wrong? This is my studio tell me. Because I want to select that one. As long as it is a ring. So this is a ring, all right? So I select that one. And then, or maybe I should deselect that one. And select, nope. not working fine just going back to what I, what I was doing I'm not sure I, I have oh, lost it okay we have to start again So yeah, maybe you, maybe you can explain to me tomorrow, um, and we can try this. But here, I don't think to make it work. Okay, okay. Almost there. I don't understand why this one is. Um, I think I know why. It might be because it is merged in the middle. I haven't tried like a quick do it on my PC. It might be so. It might be that uh, uh, those are actually quite those are like triangle. Could be the reason why they couldn't. But that's really good to know. I think for like later for like another item. So I missed something. I think. I mistaken in here. Yeah, that should be it. All right, now um, delete edge loop. And I think we can delete more. So uh, definitely one over two again. But I'm going to keep those in here so this stay round.
each loop. So you can see now that it's much smaller. We don't have that much um, details anymore. Um, and actually, we don't even need that much. Okay, now it's done. Uh, but I will also remove the the sharpening because it's not pretty anymore. This I will keep for the things. Okay, so now I have my Lopoli item. So this is going to be saved as base blue. Uh, I just made a copy um, and I'm going to export it in OBG selection only, not resin materials, and that will be no. Now, oh, I didn't close this. Now I'm going to open Sixth Sense Painter. Um, here I'm going to click New, and here I'm going to choose the low one, so the the low version of it. I'm going to close everything that it's not. Oh, sorry, boy, mama. Hello, first time catching you live. Found you through Tap Today streams. You do fantastic stuff. Thank you so much, boy, mama, and welcome. So, as you can see, now we have no um, details at all. So, we are going to add those by baking the mesh maps here. So, usually, we just change the size and go baking our um, mesh maps. And that we calculate um, like the ambient occlusion and position and everything that we need to do smart materials. But this time we are going to use this high definition meshes, and this will calculate the uh, high poly um, model differences um, with our model. So I won't change this so you can see the results, but I will go back to it because you will see why. Why? I can send a link a Discord on Discord to video I pulled to show you the technique if you like. Yes, please. I'm really interested to it because that's something I uh, often do. Um, so yes, definitely. So you can see that we have now all these details while not having any actual relief in it. But we do have a small thing to fix. For example, here we can see that we have some um, I don't know, like the the stem kind of got baked in the wicker. So we are going to actually use um, integral relative relative to box inbound. And we are going to rise, do increase, do distance. And basically uh, the frontal and rear distance is like, imagine that, um, we have a plane that it's our low poly and we have the shape. Um, this is the shape of our item. And the distance is like how far uh, the normal map will reach to actually include the height of uh, the high poly model. So the more far you go, the more details you have, but also if you go too far, you might collude with like if like the item has another things like this then you can increase too 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 much of it so don't go too far with this and now i'm going to um, bake again and it's still there so maybe it's like use cage no it's not like that i never remember it's not that one so i guess it's ignoring black Nope. Um, which one is it? That 
damn it, I don't remember. Um, actually, it was better before. Nope. So okay. So one thing we can do to avoid that. That's that's my trick. So if you have any advice on this and you you know which which setting is best. But what I usually do is to actually create the texture. I'm going to separate them. So I'm going to use GX1 like this. So I know they don't touch and export my low poly. And then I'm going to reopen it and do the same with that one. So that's the reason I use GX1, so I know they are exactly exactly at the same uh, space. So this one I'm going to export as high. So now I can just uh, project configuration and re-upload my low poly one. And then bait mesh maps, I'm going to re-upload my high one. Going to sleep for now, very, very interesting stream, and like you could uh, catch part of it hope to get your next stream as well thank you and if you want to watch the end uh, it will be um, published on my youtube channel so you can watch the end on youtube later if you want have a good night there we go much better so now we don't have anything on our wicker and we have all the details of our uh, palm uh, bake into our mesh. Um, the only thing that bothers me is that um, it has some. Yeah, this was not round, so that's annoying. Uh, I'd rather have it like more smooth uh, on the stem. So now I'm wondering if this should be sharp or not. I think it will, should be. So yeah, let's let's try with that one. So I'm going to export and OPG, this is the high and the low. Uh, great technique. Uh, thank you, Mr. Orkan. Give me some bits again. Um, so low GX1 and there. I probably want this sharp. All right, export. This is the low and changing my low again. Okay. And what's happening? Nope, this is not what I wanted. It's because I didn't untoggle right material and selection only. So that's the reason there were other stuff. Actually, I still have the one I saved that I think I don't use anymore. So I can just delete it. And same for my high. There. And there you go. So again, project configuration. I'm going to re-import my low load like this and then recalculate my big mesh maps um, to have a more round stem. There we go. So now we have perfect um, normals in here. You can see that if I select here my normal map, this will be what it looks like. And now we have a lot of details and without having the poly count. So this is how you use a high poly model um, to add some details to your low poly model without having to have heavy meshing. Now, I'm going to change the lighting because this is uh, too contrasted 
I'm going to use my Studio White Soft that I really like and I'm going to use a weaker texture for the face. I'm not going to change the color because recently every time I try to do that with complicated um, material on Substance Painter, it kind of crashed my stream. So I'm just going to use it exactly how it is. And so that's the one I want to use. And trying to uh, not crash my computer. The only thing I'm going to show you is how to uh, change the shape, but I'm going to be super careful about it. So if it crashes, um, just in case, um, I'm just going to relaunch. Um, so just refresh uh, the Twitch um, window and I'll be back. Uh, it happens. So it's, it happens. It's really annoying because um, then on YouTube I have to make like two part video. But that's because of um, Substance Painter being really bad at um, like um, managing memory. So it has memory leak, so it just uh, make my stream crash. So usually when I'm uh, all alone, it's fine. I can even work with uh, 4K texture, but I don't know why it's like the streaming part is like taking probably a lot of space. So then it doesn't work. So just, just in case, um, just in case. Right. So here I'm going to select With the white, it's better. Yes, okay. And here I'm going to change the size of the scale, so maybe something much smaller, like this. Um, I also want the tile wide, so the one um, up, no, actually it's the X. I think it's like it's too um, wide, so that we look probably better something like this I also think that um, the reflection is too much so I'm going to go in the technical param parameters and I'm going to lower the height range a lot and that will first look the texture uh, less realistic like more photographic but also give it actually a much better look Okay, um, what else? So the dirt color, I'm going to go for something darker, but I won't touch it. I said I won't touch it. And this, probably like this. Like this. Yeah, and I said I don't want to touch it. So that's it for the wicker. I might change the roughness though. I really don't like this is too shiny yes less shiny is good all right um, then for the leaf uh, I think I'm going to use my rattan my rattan custom custom texture so this is a texture I downloaded on so substance it's called impregnated um, rattan but no i'm not so sure because it has some line so that might not work that well mm. or maybe i could use the or instead of the tree planner i could use maybe the is it the spherical one and then i just need to actually center the texture to my leaf and that works quite well actually you can see that it kind of spread because it follows a spherical um, pattern so this one this one works i think all right so maybe uh, the scale so click here to keep the proportion and so it's actually more precise. All right, that's fine. And then I have already all the swatches if I want to change later. And for now, I'm going to take something darker like this. And now I want to accentuate the fact that I have some um, 
some no actually uh, um. by the way if you have a msi mainboard like i do there is a new software out called msi center board i added it and if you just call smart priority and this one is really powerful because it automatically priority system records apps to your most used programs based on a it you talking chinese to me i'm completely lost if you have like a, a tutorial or an article that talks about that or maybe maybe i will just <laughs> uh maybe copy paste this uh in our uh like chatting box and so i can reread this tomorrow um because it's midnight and I'm like, okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I need, I need some brain to work on stuff like that. So I just changed my swatches, but then, then I have to redo uh, what I did, which means changing to spherical application. And then I can probably just uh, copy paste what I put it here, which means offset no this I didn't change why did I change this offset in here this in here and this in here and did I change the resolution either I did No, that was the scale, that was not the resolution. Damn it. There we go. Does it look the same? It does. That was great to know, Maxis. I will check it out as well. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, okay, actually, you can post this um, on my Discord, like in the general chat, because maybe that will help some other people. Uh, okay, so um, now I want to add some shadows and for this I'm going to use my uh, smart material that I created in here like in shadows. So basically this is just the shadows and light that I used to show uh, during my streams but because it's always the same action. I decided to create a smart material with it. So if you want to learn how to do the light and shadows, I recommend watching like streams like maybe a month ago, where I explained basically it's a fill layer with light, uh, light color, with only the color layer with overlay. And you have a black mask with a generator um, prep to curvature. So that will apply some light, um, on all the edges and the other one is the shadow so same it's like a bit darker in multiply with only the color and this one has a dot layer that um to so black mass generator that layer once you do this you click on them both create a folder then right click um create smart material and then you always have the same um material for all everything you are going to do um, from now on and then you just need to adjust uh, depending on your item so for example on that one when i will be uh, out of stream because this is really thin um, that was great to know check that out basically there's only way to get your stream stable can you set the video title stable it I don't have any title. I think it's just, um, I think if you take just one of the stream from, from three weeks or one weeks ago, I used to do it all the time, uh, manually. And, but basically I just re-explained it basically. Um, but, uh, okay. I don't remember that much. But if you go to uh, playlists and no, 
content and life. I think if you watch prob probably that one, for example, the but how CC, I'm pretty sure I'm explaining everything in it. Probably the stool as well. Um, so out of the stream, I'm going to go 4K to have like a very more precise line than this. But on, on the streams, I'm going to stay 2K um, because I don't want to crash and think you got it by now. And for the dirt, from now, I'm going to um, probably make it a bit more than usual. Yeah. And I want to try the new smart mask. So um, I maybe do something dark so I can see then again to change it. So just the color and multiply and I'm going to try the smart mark that was I think it was cavity that you told me about that cavity so uh, black mask and there and what it does it's going to put some dark in our um, What's the word for it? In our ridges. So you can see before and after. It actually accentuates uh, every edges we have. And we probably can uh, change this. I won't do it on stream because I don't want to crash. Everything that's too complicated. But I'm pretty sure we can influence the way it look by just changing all those. I'm uh, just changing this to make it more um, brown. And yeah, like this. And I now think that maybe the, the um, texture is looks a bit a, a little bit too stretched. So, mm. if you talk about the one I said, you it was called AO, I think, but probably it works as well. AO is more subtle. Yeah, I didn't um, import it in my library yet. But yeah, no, I think uh, that was the one you told me about before, and I think he really fit uh, that one. Um, now I'm just... Um, I'm not so sure about this. I think it's like a bit too heavy, so maybe I will add a blur filter to like calm it down a little bit yeah and then I can add another filter oh I don't think I have it so yeah, I can probably use more details, like I'm going to add fill layer and I'm going to use a texture, maybe some noises. Uh, let's try that one on, on the fill. And I'm going to put Sorry, I'm, I'm a bit lost. Multiply, yes, like this. Like this. And probably change the, the scale. 
uh, when I use cavity, I change the opacity because I find it always very strong of the layer. Yeah, but in that case, uh, it actually gives quite a good uh, look to it because um, like if we check our reference images, we do have some strong uh, shadows in here. But you're right, opacity or just the color of, of your... I'm going to no, carry this. Just the color of your layer is um, the same, depending of um, the effect you want. Um, so I think, where is it? Is it that one? Yes. I think that's a bit too much. Um, I think we can find something better than this. So maybe this. Here we again. But in that case, we probably need it way less dark than this. So that time I can change to opacity. I can even try sometimes, um, nope, which one is it, overlay? Multiplier is better. Nope. I never remember which one is which one. Okay, color burn is fine and don't color burn or Oh, multiply. Well, they're kind of the same. All right. I think multiply was better. Yeah. Okay. And I think we're done. So I'm going to export um, Control Shift E. Select my destination path. So seams, furniture, blah blah blah, wicker face. Okay. I'm going to first export the normal OpenGL and the roughness. And then I'm going to export the 2D view. Okay, I'm going to save this so I can come back tomorrow and make all my other sketches. And uh, that will be this. There's something I want to uh, change. I think that's from the cavities. This doesn't look that good. Um, so I'm going to. Um, add a paint layer and I'm going to remove not, not paint layer sorry add a yes it was supposed to be paint layer and I'm going to remove the face from it so I'm just selecting the, the polygon field uh, mesh field put in black and I'm just deselecting the face so now the cavity only apply on the leaf and not on the face and everything else is on the face so we have the shadows and we have the lights and that's it so I don't have to re-export my uh, normal map and roughness because this sh shouldn't influence it but I will export back uh, again my 2D view hi Blue hello Bluey there now um I'm going to edit opening Photoshop. I'm going to edit all my three maps 
and I'm going to replace my mesh on Tunes for Studio, then we can um, try it. So here, that's my high load. I'm going to GX minus one and put the mesh cut to zero. Save and my low load here. GX minus one and mesh cut to zero and save. Now, here I'm going to import for the high, the high one. There we go. Same with the shadow load, it's the same one because we said that because we only have one mesh cut, then we can use the same file. So that's the reason I don't. Um, I use this custom one and base low for the lower mesh. So we can see that this is only 900 while the um, uh, big one is like uh, 1200. Um, okay, then in Photoshop, I'm going to open the three texture I exported. So uh, this one will be for the end. This is um, just using my F5 that we resize it from 2K to 1K. This is the roughness. So in fact, the color, um, I think actually this is pretty not shiny. So I'm going to put a dark red, very dark red. Um, before I need to check a mod to LVD and fill with dark red, multiply, and then I just copy paste my red channel and put it very dark because I don't want any reflection on that item. Then resize it to 1K and save in DDS. It's here, okay. So here, we can see that the more bright the colors, the more, um, um, thank you, Tran Lavish, for the subscribers on YouTube. You made a sketch on Pee Wee. <laughs> Hi, Pee Wee. Ça fait peur. Um, the more bright the color, the more strong uh, your um, normal will be. And I think that's come from the fact that um, I didn't apply uh, some sharp on, on my face. See this. So I'm going to re-export it with it because I think uh, it's kind of um, uh, not pretty. Just to check if it's better or not. Selection only, not right material, and high. And here I'm just going to rebake. I'm going to put this in normal so I can see the result in real time. I'm going to replace this and bake. Yes, see, it's much better. So because of the smooth one, it created a lot of differences. So then it, it was uh, less pretty. So here I'm going to just re-export my uh, normal map. Okay. And Photoshop, I'm going to reopen. And now we can see it's much, much, much better. So I'm going to try again with that one. And if I find it too strong, I can always come back in Photoshop and use an opacity 50% with um, 128, 128, 235. And then using like a rectangle with 50% opacity, I can just go on it and it will like slower it down a little. But I'm curious, so we are going to try it now. The process I'm going to go next, I am created a shortcut on Photoshop, so I don't have to go it again. But if you don't know it, I really recommend my uh, tutorial about normal map to know 
about all the channels and how to export in DDS. There we go. So now replacing the texture. There, there it is. And this is bow wedding wicker base. Wicker base. And that would be not too expensive. It's just just decor. And the tag is light brown, dark brown, the color decoration, maybe plant. That could be considered as a plant. Okay, and then I'm replacing the normal map and the roughness map. And we are good to go. So save, then close, then go look for it. In here. And I'm going to paste it in my mod folder and let's launch the game. And hopefully it will work. And if it works, which I really hope, uh, I think I fixed my confetti animation that you can buy with your channel points. So hopefully it will work. Don't use it yet. Let's give it. Um, Let's keep it for later and really hope it, it's fixed. Like it really, it worked offline. So if it doesn't work today, it means I have something um, being online, but hydrate, hydrate people. You need to drink. In the meantime, I can also show you how Peewee is always sitting on the most unfeeling places. <laughs> Pewee, you you live. Say something. Pewee. <laughs> Pewee. Okay, she's definitely shy. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Ah, I don't have enough cords. Sorry. Ah, damn it. She's attacking me. Ouch! <laughs> um, I'm so sorry, people. <laughs> she she attacked the webcam, so I can't touch it now, or I'm risking my hands. <laughs> she's not moving, but she could add a, a cat cam. Uh, if she's like that, that is. No. I thought about it, but first, um, because I'm like streaming, um, you know, a, a tutorial, uh, and you, I need you guys to see the space. So if I'm adding like an, another webcam, then okay, she left. Um, then it will take some space on the. On the screen. Uh, but also she's not moving most of the time like she's just sleeping and so and she also has several spots like there is like uh, the spot right next to me because it's just in front of the fireplace and there is like in the shelf this is a ikira shelf next to my um desk and you know they have some cubes so she made like one of the cubes is hers and then there is like on the sofa and there is like one on the bed. So usually it's like one of the four spots. Um, so I can't have like the So it's definitely not really interesting. Uh, right, so. There we go. Look at that. So now you can try to complete. Yay! Oh, it <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. I spent so much time making it work. Yay! Marvelous.
I guess it's love like Ikea chef. My dad have the bottom two cubes uh, of the cat chef is um, let's say Appa Weekend. It's too cute. It's actually the Kallax uh, chef uh, as well. I used to have like notebooks and you know, kind of like it's like right in front of the uh, front door. So when you like uh, coming at home and you're putting on your keys and everything, so it's kind of like it was uh, supposed to be like the place where we put like all the the clutter of uh, our pockets and she made uh, she made the place hers so now she has like blanket and that's um, officially hers anyway it works perfectly so you can see especially with the very bright lights of Hengle that um, we have some nice shading and it actually looks um, super detail without having a too much polycoms. I have a Calax as well in my outfit. Well, Calax are really, really um, practical. Um, like my, my boyfriend made like a desk. So there is like a four, four square on the right. And then we have the desk and then there is like a, a nine unit. I think it was like a, a four by four and he cut like the bottom one. So we have three, so now it's like, kind of like a counter, I don't know. Uh, right, so this is the end of uh, today's uh, streams. I was actually pretty fast for once. I'm super proud of myself that I could for once made a stream that was um, responsibly short. So I don't go to bed too late because then uh, the day tomorrow I'm like completely um, delayed. Anyway, here you go. I hope you enjoyed uh, what I uh, showed you. I hope you learned some stuff. I um, um, can't wait to learn uh, what you uh, what what is your new technique, Maxis Maxis word about uh, selecting ages. And I will continue to work on my wedding set uh, this week, especially if tomorrow is the actual release date of the set, then I'll be able to uh, discover what the new items are, uh, so I can add them. Um, and I might release this set in two parts. Um, so I can have something at the end of the week and maybe something else later because um, I'm not sure. I, there's so many things I want to do. Uh, I might even do a three part with like um, honeymoon stuff. Um, by the way, Mr. Oaken, does it have hotel or is it only rental like uh, in Mount Kemerobi? No, only rent was usual. All right, so nothing new about this. Well, it's, sti it's still good. Like I like uh, sending my sims on vacation. I'm waiting for all tales too, but me too. Me too, me too. Wow! Well, thank you so much, everyone, for being here. Um, if you have any questions and if you need helps with your CC, you can always come to my Discord. We have some nice people that will help you. Um, is my Discord. Uh, if you want to support me, I have a Patreon there, and and that's it. So have a good night and have a good day wherever you are. Thank you so much um, for being here and for being so supportive with me and patient. And see you next week. Bye.